Hi everybody, Teddy Baldessar here. So we are in Omaha, Nebraska at Borsheim's, great independent jeweler here. And what we're gonna be doing is building the best watch collection possible for $25,000 in under 30 minutes. So I have 30 minutes to do this. And what I'm going to be doing is really developing about, eh, I'd say five different watch collections, kind of round out everything. We wanna get a dress watch, a dive watch, chronograph, an everyday style watch, as well as a beater of sort that we can kind of beat around a little bit more carelessly. Uh, so let's head inside. Let's start the timer here and see what we can do. But before we jump in, just a quick mention, at teddybaldestar.com, we did unveil a new part of our website, new releases page. So we have some awesome new releases as an authorized dealer, uh, things like the Tissot PRX, and a great Gerald Genta design at an affordable price. Also, you can look at new releases from Oris with their Carl Brashear Caliber 401. Teddybaldestar.com, full authorized dealer of all the brands that we carry, over 30 brands, and a great way to support content like this to allow us to keep moving around. But all right, now let's seriously start the timer and head inside. All right, guys, we are inside Borsheim's. And Elizabeth, very nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you, Teddy. Thanks for coming to Borsheim's today. Happy to be here. So just to give you a little bit of understanding of what I'm trying to do, I have 30 minutes in here, okay. and I need to build the best watch collection I possibly can with $25,000. We can do that. At okay. Borsheim's, we always say, we can. if you've got something in mind, we can work within your budget to find just what you want. Fantastic. So I want to try to get some variety, and I'm thinking like dress watch, dive watch, everyday style watch, so very versatile chronograph and then something I can kind of beat around. You know, I want to think about this a little thoughtfully and I probably want to start with the dress watch. Yes. And I think it could fluctuate maybe a little more expensive as well as the chronograph, but I think dress watch is where I want to start. Okay. And I know we have, well, so we have Cartier and JLC. You know, it's kind of known as a watchmaker's watch and so we'll be able to get into the guts of it and uh, I think you'll be able to start with a really good focal piece for your, the rest of your collection. Let's start there. Let's All go. right. You know, there's kind of two things that Jaeger is known for. They're mm -hmm. known for their Reverso, which is a watch that uh, has a face on the front and actually a protective case on the back yep. and uh, invented for polo players. And 90 year anniversary know, this exactly. year. Exactly. So, right around 6K for this. Right. So this is definitely in the running to mm -hmm. start out. I think it's just a traditional small seconds Reverso, Sounds stainless good. steel, that is there. I do not want to neglect the master collection as well though. So yes. the master control, we have master control calendar and the master control date. Those are right, I think are in the price range as well. I love the master also within moon phase as well, but that's getting a little bit closer to 10K on that. I have covered this one on the channel. I absolutely loved it. I oh. love the color of the strap that they've changed out to. I think that's so rich looking. Yeah, they moved away from the reptilian stuff. And I think it really suits this because it's a bit more casual. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think it works well. My only, challenges. I know we're going to be dealing with some other round watches a little bit later, mm -hmm. so it might be a little bit cliche to go for the Reverso. But, I, I mean... I think you want to go for the Reverso. I think so. We're going to start off with the Reverso. All so right. what, is, what does that perfect. set us at? Now, where are we at with the budget currently? Where right. We, we'll pretend taxes don't yeah. exist as well. Yeah, 64.50. I want to do a dive watch. I have to do a dive watch. Mm -hmm. So I think Omega makes a ton of sense. Brightling makes a ton of sense. So maybe we head over there. Yes. Okay. So Omega. And obviously very well known for their dive watch. The Seamaster has been around for a long time. Yes, the Seamaster, you know, it's, it's a very obvious choice. And just for people that are watching, I want to make this a little bit diversified. So I don't want to go too much with one brand. So if I decide to go elsewhere, I'll think about it. Because I'm looking at the Seamaster, but I also am thinking about my chronograph later. Uh -huh. And, you know, Speedmaster as well. I think there's going to be some good versatility where it lands in the price. So can we look at a Seamaster 300? Yes. Let's just do the blue dial. Just pull that out just to look at it. It's definitely iconic. 100%. I have small wrist, so that makes it very easy to just try that <laughs> on there. Yeah, it's, it's just a beautiful watch. And of course, Wave Dial has been brought back with the 300. It was something that went away for a little while, but aesthetically, Omega has really made some beautiful changes to it. They added the Sapphire Crystal, so you can actually see that beautiful movement working. And all of Omega's watches now have uh, that master coaxial in them, so high efficiency and um, you know less service. So. It's a beautiful watch. All right, I just want to keep that there for now. Mm -hmm. I do want to not neglect Breitling. So, so I traditionally like the Heritage 2, and mm -hmm. I probably want to stick with the 42 millimeter okay. just because of it being a bit smaller for my wrist. So Both can be accommodated. So here is the 42 on the mesh bracelet. Mesh bracelet isn't something you see every day. This right south of five, right? Mm -hmm. So this is, I'm saving a little bit of money compared to that on the bracelet. Yes, yes. 70 hour power reserve, it has the Tudor brightening and Tudor exchange of technology. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting, I think the B20, they're using a Pelagos base in here. I think this is 
a great way to save a little bit of money, but also get a fantastic watch in the process. Yes, so I would agree I'm going to do the Heritage 2. And what's the price on that one exactly? So this it's is like, uh, $49.85. Uh, $49.85, $49 okay. We are down to about fourteen grand ish left yes. to spend. That's a, quite a bit still left to spend. I have quite spend. a bit. So I want to tackle, let's start with the two bigger fish. One is going to be a chronograph, one's going to be an everyday watch. Actually, let's go, let's go kind of more with the everyday watch first. Okay. I mean, do you have the Globemaster here? Do you have any Globemasters? We do, actually. We have the steel bracelet and the leather. That's beautiful. Now, the Globemaster is easily one of my favorite watches. The Pi Pan Dial. Oh, I, I have a vintage Constellation. I mean, it was like, it was the watch that really got me into vintage watches. We'll and, see. And I think this is just so nicely integrated to like a modern approach yes. to it. So I, I, I absolutely adore this watch. I do prefer the blue dial. Um, and and I, I also want to be open to many different dial colors, have all the versatility matched. Mm -hmm. But. Seamaster Railmaster, Railmaster uh, 57 Trilogy. They got some good yeah, options here. we do. And then you've got that beautiful blue. And it's not your traditional blue with that etching in the uh, It's like a dials. denim kind of blue. It is, yeah. yep. So again, it does bring it down to a more casual level if you're wearing jeans and, and that sort of thing too. One other brand I want to look at though, sure. before we maybe let's, decide on something is... Peak. Can we look We've at got time. Uh, yeah, we do have, <laughs> well, I don't know how much time we have left. We'll have to check the timer, but I think uh, we're, we're good right now. Can we look at Cartier? Of course. Uh, I don't know what you have for the Santos collection, but Let's that's a look. that's a favorite of mine as well. Now this is going to be where the price is going to hurt me a little bit because actually, believe it or not, my favorite one is the two-tone because I think with the screws, it actually looks fantastic. And I think two-tone is very hit or miss, but the Santos does it exceptionally well. Well, let's see which size we like better too. Now price is going to hurt me on this. So I don't think I am going to be able to uh, do this. Unless we change it up a little bit. But yeah, we're at 10.8 with this. I, I and, love and again, it, but it's I, the gold. You know, yeah. I mean, it, not only is it Cartier and all of the great things that Cartier does with their distinct Roman numerals and things like that, but uh, I love it. But what about just the traditional medium there in stainless steel? I mean, let's let's look at steel because there's nothing wrong with a classic steel watch. Now this is closer to that six seven range, I mm -hmm. believe, right? Let's see. Yep. Sixty five hundred. So right, I'm saving even, even more. Better. Money. That's even great. Better. Now this is a little smaller. One thing I know about these is that you are dealing with a cool bracelet adjustment system, and, and I, you know you can also let you know let your significant other maybe try this one on as well. Uh -huh. It's a nice like versatile size. It is. So I went away from the tank and I went with Reverso for the dress watch. I know mm -hmm. that this will be the last stop if I'm going to go Cartier. So I think I should go with this. I think that's a great idea. Let's keep it Perfect. versatile, right? Yes. Okay. Now you're thinking we still okay, need, we to, need find to figure a out budget. Yes. yes, we need because this is going to determine my choice. Yes, I think the obvious ones for me just in the store are going to be Zenith and Omega. Mm -hmm. Let's start with Zenith. Though. Okay, let's look. Zenith is a cool brand because I mean they have a good mix with the, their Chrono Masters. They do the, the really good heritage reissue stuff. And how do you feel oh, about a strap? I, I'm pretty open to anything. I mean, because that's 7,700 right there. But that's eight grand, isn't it? It's like it 8,200, I think. It is. It's actually uh, yes. 8,200. You, you, you hit the nail on the head with that one. Uh, we may have to rethink our our Cartier. Really no. don't want to have to pull something okay. off the board. Okay. Guys, I'm sorry. I don't think I can make the Zenith work. <laughs> I mean, I, I want to make the Zenith work. Yes. I respect the El Primero, but we have to we have to make moves yes. to fit our budget. Yes. So Speedmaster. Mm-hmm. I think the obvious one where I know it's going to fit for some Megan Space, yes. yes. And we have it here on the beautiful brown strap and it's 5300. Now that gives me so a little more wiggle room. So now we got a little room. more wiggle room, yes. The other thing I like about this model is the fact that it is a little bit smaller, which also works well for me. And this does still have the Hesalite crystal, so you really are getting that traditional mm -hmm. historic timepiece. Manual wound, all oh, yeah, of that yeah, good right. stuff. This is clearly the smarter decision. Because what's the cheapest, what are the cheapest watches that you have here? In if, the whole store? Like, is it Tissot Hamilton too? Oh, thing? yes, absolutely. Do you have Citizen too? Or just... We do have Citizen as well. Okay, yes. so. And I think we could probably find a great option in Hamilton, maybe another manual wound. Yeah, I think we gotta do uh, all right. First Omega in Space. First Omega in Space, I like it. If you guys like this video so far, thumbs up, subscribe. So we do more of this. Just to give you guys a rundown, we're at, so JLC for the dress watch, Santos for our everyday watch. We have an Omega Speedmaster, uh, first Omega in space for our uh, chronograph, and then a Breitling uh, Super Ocean Heritage 2 for our dive watch. Mm -hmm. And that brings us to a total of just north of $23,000. Mm -hmm. I have a bit more flexibility than I anticipated, so that is good. Yes. 
So I think now to look at maybe we can look at Longines. We can look at Nomos is even a possibility, I think, at this price range. And I think um, we need a blue dial. I think that's what we need to find for you. Yeah, I think we need to find so something So far, more we colorful. don't have a blue dial. So maybe we try to look for that. That's a good idea. Okay, let's do it. Let's All head right. back over there. Perfect. Do we have any automatic conquest? Like, what, where, where are our prices on the conquest and well, the hydro look conquest? Right behind here. This is, so this is 1600. Mm -hmm. So this would land us pretty much exactly right. on it. Okay, this is certainly in the running, I think. Okay. This is definitely in the running. I don't want to commit yet let's, because let's I do want to give with us. I do want to give Hamilton the shot. Yes. Yeah, Tissot, Citizen. Now, but that's probably the most I can stretch if I yes. wanted to go with the most expensive yep. option. I yep, think that's a great exactly. choice. Exactly. So the one thing I would say about, so when making this choice, I do want this watch to be able to be a little bit more durable. So okay. that is going to kind of limit it down. Okay. Um, something like the Navy Scuba would make some sense, perhaps. It like, you would. You could do that. Now these are just, I mean, this is like right around 700 bucks. So this is easily have enough money for it. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Oh, the Viewmatic, yes. Yes. So the only problem I have with this one, I think this is only 50 meters of water resistance on this. So I do want something that I can kind of bang around okay. a little bit more. I, it's a lovely watch. That's a, that's a fantastic watch. I think from Hamilton, this will probably be the choice. You did make a great point, which is we do need to get a blue dial. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I could look at a khaki automatic, but I, uh, I just feel like that's maybe a little bit too redundant with some of the other dials that yes. I've had. Yep. Any other just brands in this price range you think we should look at? I mean, we have Tissot, which I kind of know mm -hmm. is going to be over there. Citizen yes. as well, which is... Um, what about Shinola? We can look at some Shinola. I've actually never really experienced much of the brand, to be honest. Well, let's good, let's good. go talk about Shinola, because they are an excellent, you know, American assembled, but yet, um, you know, a Swiss movement at heart. So a great story of manufacturing reborn in Detroit. I do like their designs. I think a lot of enthusiasts have a, like a, I wouldn't say polarizing view, but maybe a kind of love-hate review. I actually, I mean, what, what's that blue? I don't, I've never seen that. That blue and red dial is very interesting. Here, yes. It's probably a little bit too much for my taste. 12.95 and I think that one's. 14.50 it says. And they came That's out interesting, with a whole blue and red. collection of these that they have different sort of themes and names for, you know, this is the snow monster and, um, there was one that was kind of known as just the monster in general and things Watch like that. Watch people love so, to do that, don't yes, they? They just you know, love to make so, names for everything. I'm pretty impressed. But I think so far, I think I want to go back to Longines. All right. I think I want to go back to Longines. That sounds like a great idea. Uh, yeah, that one. This blue. is the one yeah. in the blue. As far as Longines goes, you know you're going to be able to wear that watch and not worry about no, it. No, 100%. At all, 300 meters know? of water resistance. I mean, I mean, the crown guards on this thing are large, but you know that they're going to be serving their purpose. Mm -hmm. Bezel is very, very solid. I think I made my choice. All right. Well, we're great. Good to go. All right. We've got quite so a let's collection go here. Let's, let's total it. Is there any way that we can kind of get them all together yep. and just let's total them sure up and just see what we got? All right. So let's, we could do the final summation of our budget where we hit yes. it. So we had $25,000 there. Do you have a phone, Mitch? Can we do a calculator? Are we uh, able to do a calculator? Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Let's start. Jaeger, $64.50. Brightling. 4985 5300 for the Speedmaster. Okay. 6500 for the Santos and 1600 on 1600. The Hydro Conquest. That's pretty good. 24835. We cut it perfectly. Is there anything that else that I could throw in there just for fun? Why don't we grab a citizen? Let's, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's just go do grab it. A you know, hey, we got money. Never leave money no, on the table. That's right. Yeah, a little <gasps> overtime. Hey, restart the clock. Give us a few more minutes. Let's let's do that. One of the nice things about citizen, of course, is Echo Drive. We've got 168 here. That is, I mean, it's a little bit over. Mm-hmm. But you know, maybe maybe we could get it on like a payment plan or something like that and figure it there out. You, you know. Go. Okay, guys. Well, I'm I came under. under I came under it. So. I think I could throw in one more watch. So we're going to go with the Citizen here. All right. Yeah, that's, I mean, hey, versatility Classic. with the Eco Drive, that's great. Yep. Throw it on. Don't have to worry about it. Set it and forget it. We I came out with one more. To get an extra watch out of the deal. How about that, guys? So, guys, what do you think of my collection? Would you have done anything different? Leave comments down below. But Elizabeth, thank you so much You're for helping so us. Welcome. I feel, feel very good How about much fun was that? All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. That's a huge help. Also, if you're in the Omaha area, definitely check out Borsheim's great people in there. And finally, teddybaldestar.com, full authorized dealer of all the brands that we carry, and helps us just generate more content like this. So if you want to see more content like this, 
teddyballs.com as well as so leave some comments down below. Where else do you want us to go? What other ideas do you have for us? I'd love to see those down there. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.